Hello everyone. Today we are doing polynomial long division level one from Delta Math. The question is, what is the result when eight x cubed plus 10 x squared plus 23 x plus 15 is divided by 4x plus 3. So the steps to doing long division are the same steps that you learned in, I don't know, fifth grade, fourth grade. So first you divide, multiply, subtract, and repeat. So first you set it up. You put 4x plus 3 outside and you write this whole thing underneath. 8x cubed plus 10x squared plus 23x plus 15. So the first thing, so we're gonna do 4x plus 3 into this whole polynomial, okay? So first we're just gonna focus on the 4x squared, 4x, into 8x cubed. Another way you could think of it is 4x times what will give me 8x cubed? Well, 4 times 2 is 8, and x times x squared is x to the third. So it's going to be 2x squared. 4x squared, 4x times 2x squared will give me 8x cubed. So it's 2x squared. I like to write the like terms above each other, okay? And anytime you do this first step, this division, you write your answer, your quotient up here. The next step is to multiply. So we're going to multiply 2x squared times, not just the 4x, but the whole thing, 4x plus 3. So 2x squared times 4x plus 3. And our answer goes under here. So what's 2x squared times 4x? 8x cubed. And what's 2x squared times 3? 2 times 3 is 6. So plus 6x squared. The next step is to subtract. So put parentheses around this so that you don't forget that you're subtracting this entire polynomial from this entire polynomial. Sometimes you tend to forget and you end up adding these two and getting 16x squared. Wrong. We are subtracting. Okay, people? Okay? Always swing back out here to the minus sign. <clears throat> so 8x cubed minus 8x cubed is 0. 10x squared minus 6x squared is 4x squared. And then we bring down the next term, plus 23x. And then we repeat. We're going to divide 4x into 4x squared. So 4x times what will give me 4x squared? 4x times x. So we write our plus x right up here above the like term. And then the next step after you divide is to multiply. So we're going to multiply this x times this whole thing. x times 4x plus 3. So x times 4x is 4x squared. x times 3 plus 3x. And then we subtract. Put parentheses. Being neat doesn't hurt. 4x squared minus 4x squared is 0. 23x minus 3x is 20x. Bring down the 15. Plus 15. Okay. And now we repeat. We're going to divide 4x into 20x. 
4x times what? What do I have to multiply 4x by to get 20x? 5. So put your plus 5 up here. And now we multiply. 5 times 4x plus 3. 5 times 4x is 20x. Ooh, look what's about to happen. Do you see what just happened? We got the same exact thing. So guess what that means? We have no remainder. Da, 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 da. That means that 4x plus 3 is a factor of this whole thing. But that's another story. So here's our final answer. The answer is... 2x squared plus x plus 5. 2x squared plus x plus 5. Done and done.